guys, welcome back. Today I wanna to talk to you about a few organizational tips that really help me as a mom. You know, us moms, we are always running around, we are always trying to juggle multiple things at once, but sometimes it can get the best of us. Today I have put together a list of things that help me stay on top of life and just stay more organized and productive so that way I have more time to just enjoy life with my family. So if you see me glancing down, I have a list here of different things I want to talk to you about and I just want to make sure that I cover it all with you guys today. So the first thing I want to talk to you about is routines. Routines are literally the glue holding our lives together right now in my family. We have implemented routines um, early on in our parenthood journey. Um, I found that it was crucial for us to have some sort of routine in place so that way we're able to just navigate through our days better. I know when I need to get things done and I've sort of planned it out in a way that makes sense for our family. I've done a whole separate video on this and I will leave the link down below so you can check out my routines. Now they are always changing um, because life is always changing, but we always have routines established in our life and it has helped tremendously just stay organized and feel like you have a little bit more time because you have everything sort of scheduled out. Now, Obviously there are days that this routines kind of go by the wayside because life happens, but for the most part, I know what I need to get done, when I need to get it done, and our days just flow so much smoother. So the next thing that I want to talk to you about, and this kind of goes along with routines, but it's using a planner. Using a planner has helped me tremendously in staying organized as a mom. We have so many different appointments that we need to keep track of and so many different school activities, sports activities, all of that. There's, it's impossible to just all keep it stored in your brain. So having a planner and just having it written down on paper or using even an app or your computer or some method of planning helps you visualize your days better, helps you plan better, and helps you stay on top of things. You're not forgetting certain appointments and important dates. It really does help get all the stuff that's in your brain down on paper or in your computer so you can visualize it better and be prepared. It has really helped me stay organized and it's really helped me be more productive also. Next is another topic that I talk about quite often here on my channel and it seriously has saved me so much time and money and keeps us so much more organized and that is to meal plan. Meal planning, if you again have not started meal planning it, it, in your family, I highly recommend it. It helps us so much. Dinner time can be stressful anyways. So having a plan set in place, having your grocery list ready and going to the grocery store less often is going to save you time and money. So if you have not started meal planning yet, go on to Pinterest, go on to YouTube, search all the different meal planning um, ideas that you can and come up with a system that works for you and your family. You will definitely not regret it. It has helped us so much. Again, I'm not wondering when it's five o'clock, oh, what are we gonna have for dinner? What am I going to, do I need to grab something at the store? Um, it, I know what we're having for dinner. My family knows what we're having for dinner. It just saves us so much time and stress and money. The next tip I wanna share with you guys is to create drop zones. Drop zones have helped us stay organized so much. There is nothing worse than having to get out the door quickly and not knowing where your keys are or not knowing where your kid's backpack is or their shoes or who knows. We have a system for our kids that we have a place to hang their artwork. We have a bin for each child for all those loose items they come home with, like their mittens, their hat, um, sunglasses, you name it. Just those items that you need to grab to get out the door quickly, but um, sometimes can get lost very easily. We have a place specifically designated for those items, so that way we always know where they are all the time. We can get out of the door very quickly. We also have a hook hanging at their level so they can hang their jackets and their backpack. This helps so much because 
when they come home from school, they know their backpack goes on their hook. I go through their backpack. It's all ready for the next day. And then when it's time for them to go to school, they just grab their backpack off their hook and they're ready to go out the door. We also put their shoes right below their jacket and backpack hook just so that way, again, we never have to look for shoes in the morning when we're trying to rush out the door. Just having that system in place has helped us tremendously getting to and from um, in a rush. And <laughs> Let's face it, we're in a rush a lot, always trying to rush out the door here, there, or everywhere. So that has helped us a lot. We also have a drop zone designated for my husband and I. We have um, a coat rack where our jackets go. I usually put my purse or clutch or whatever I'm using um, at the moment there. We each have a bin so that way our hats and gloves and sunglasses, anything like that. My husband puts his wallet in there. Anything again that we need to grab when we're heading out the door just goes right in those bins. We also have a place to put our shoes. Again, we're not searching for those. We know exactly where they are and can put them on and head out the door. And last but not least, we have a place to hang our keys. So that way, as soon as we come in, we hang up our keys and we're never having to search for keys. Trust me, before I had these drop zones set in place, we were a hot mess. Trying to get out of the door with three kids is chaotic in itself, let alone throwing in there somebody who does not have their shoes or I can't find my keys, you name it. It can be very stressful trying to get out the door in an organized fashion when you can't find anything. So designating certain drop zones, just carve out a small area in your home and have a hook for your jacket, um, have a little bin or some sort of drawer or anything that you can put all those items that you need to get out the door and also have a place for your keys. So that way you're not losing your keys when you have to go somewhere. Okay, another tip that I have for you guys is to use a timer. Timers are like my best friend. When I'm trying to get stuff done and get motivated, I set the timer. So if I know I have 15 minutes and it's crunch time, I only have 15 minutes to spend to get things back, put back in order, I'll set that timer and I just move as fast as I can, no distractions, and get it done. It is like lighting the fire underneath you. You really just know that you have to focus on that certain task until the timer goes off. And it really is motivating. It has helped me tremendously in just trying to stay focused and um, get things done. So using a timer is a great way to stay organized and motivated. Another tip that I have for you guys to get more organized as a parent is to lay out your clothes ahead of time. In our house, we take a whole weeks worth of clothes and plan them out at a time. So Sunday evenings is when I plan out my clothes for Monday through Friday. I plan out my kids clothes Monday through Friday um, and everything's ready to go. So that way in the morning I am not wondering if I have clean clothes or what I'm going to wear. It's laid out, it's ready to go and same for the kids. So that way even if it's a busy week and I get behind on laundry, I already know that there are five outfits ready to go for the work week and school week. Last but not least, this is something that I am continuously trying to work on. Sometimes I'm really good at it, sometimes I'm not, but when I do this, I see a huge difference. Less screen time. So screen time can really suck up your time, and when you are trying to stay organized and stay one step ahead, being on your phone all the time, or your computer, or anything with a screen basically can really drain out all that time. And before you know it, you are running around crazy because you have to do this, that, or be here or there. Um, being on the phone less has helped me stay more organized. It has helped me be more productive. I just put it down out of sight, out of mind. I have a designated spot in my house that I keep my phone when I don't wanna be on it or looking at it, when I know I'm gonna be busy and have to get certain things done, I put it away where I cannot even see it. So that way I'm not even tempted to look at it. 
I have a certain part of my day carved out. It's usually in the evening, after the kids go to bed, after I've done everything that I need to, then I'll check my phone. I'll go on Facebook or YouTube or whatever it may be, <laughs> different platforms of social media. I check my emails. I try very hard <laughs> not to go on too much during the day because it really does suck your time. And before you know it, like half an hour will be going by and you know, you're still on Facebook or YouTube or Instagram or whatever it may be. I suggest just putting your phone down, putting your screens away and just focusing on what's around you, what needs to get done around you. So that way you can be one step ahead. And, and when there's a lull in the day, then go ahead and check, check your phone or your computers or whatever it may be that you enjoy doing that has a screen. <laughs> Just basically being more aware of where you're spending the time really helps you stay organized and productive. All right, guys, so those are the tips that I have for you by implementing routines, using a planner, meal planning, creating drop zones, using a timer, laying out and planning clothes ahead of time, and less screen time. If you can implement those tips into your life, I guarantee you'll see a difference. You will be more organized and more productive. If you guys have any other tips that have helped you as a parent, please leave them down in the comment section below. I think it's great when we help each other out and I'm always open for new suggestions. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll talk to you soon.